Look, man, I'm serious, okay? I saw this with my own eyes. Oh, I believe you, buddy. I believe you. <laughs> Just tell us a story. Tell us a story. Okay, well, it was last Friday night. I was walking home from the bar, and this woman started coming towards me. She was staggering, you know, so I, I figured she was drunk. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, tell us, be honest now, how many drinks did you have? No, man, I... I, I barely had a buzz on. Oh, come on. Just listen to me. Get your clothes on. Get your clothes on. Get your clothes on. Get your clothes this gameplay let's hope that I, if I can do perfectionist like I did the last time hopefully it will be okay but this is recorded it will be uploaded to YouTube hopefully so let's pray that this recording goes well started like when Resident Evil 2 the remake came out a lot of people played it immediately the game when the game came out well guess what I'm not some youtuber that gets free access to the freaking games I'm not some YouTube gamer that gets free access to the games like before they get before they come out to the public so but hey if all goes well if my recording does really well then We'll see how it goes. No one's around. I promised you guys I was gonna do more games. That I was gonna do more gaming stuff. And Resident Evil, the remakes just seem like the best place to to start. Now, I'm not professional. Even if I did I was a professional YouTuber or a professional gamer that knew how to do the whole sound editing crap. Look, I'm not a professional when it comes to computers or a professional YouTuber. So, cut me some slack, people. Let's pray that my gaming skills haven't failed me now. Okay. And also, may I just say, Leon, you are one hunk. Hello? Anybody there? Oh. Hmm. I give anything to date Leon Kennedy. Seriously. I don't know what it is about blonde blonde right. men. They just I just find them super attractive. I mean after playing this a couple of times, you all right? You know we learn a lot. Don't move. I'll be back for you. Yeah. I'll be back. Hey. Stop moving. Officer, you need help? Uh, stay back, sir. I got this. Yeah, you got hey, this. Uh, 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 it's right the same dying animation that you get with your own character. Which... This doesn't Freeze! Touch me. I'll shoot! Now here's the bigger question. Fuck. Is my aim on point? It is! Oh, wait. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, wait. By the way, I'm gonna pretend to be shocked by all this since I've played the game a couple times. So, shut your mouth. I started playing this game, like, a couple times just to get a feel for it. And surprising me, surprising everyone, including myself, I did pretty darn well for my first try playing the sequel. 
Don't you dare get up, my dude. Yeah, I know. Shut up. I did pretty darn well for what the, the first heck? time ever. Don't shoot! Get down! And so, and surprisingly, surprising myself, even I'm all right? pretty good shot. Yeah, I think so. Thanks. You can thank me later when we're safe. Man, but also I love the controls for the remakes. The controls are so much better than the previous games. I'll tell you that much. Come on. Get in. Hold on. Have some answers at the police station. Wait, you're a cop? Yeah, Leon Kennedy. You are? Claire. Claire Redfield. You live around here? No. I'm looking for my brother. He's a cop too. Well, it's a good thing we found each other. I don't know what to expect anymore. Yeah. I hope Nick Apostolatus comes back for the Force game. In case you don't know who Nicola Pasley is, is, he voices Leon in this game, in the remake. And he's honestly a really good Leon. And I would love for him to come back for the fourth for the fourth game remake. I know I I know Capcom after the success they got with the with the second and third remake, you gotta make a fourth one. Just to appease the fan base. I mean, you had so much success with the second one, not as much success with the third one, but you still had success. The graphics are amazing. The way that they redid the game, like, it's just so good. So you gotta do a fourth one. Maybe even a fifth one. If you do a fourth and fifth remake, I'll actually love you. I love you, Capcom. And I'll play both those games. Because I haven't, and to be honest, I haven't really played the fourth game at all. But I've seen other people play the fourth game. And the second game is honestly... It's not my favorite of the bunch, but it is... The remake is my favorite of the bunch, but I just love the idea of traveling through a broken city or whatever, like, um, the dead coming back to life city. So I think people, a lot of people said that the Resident Evil franchise went off the rails after this. It's kind of like the Fast and Furious franchise, when it went, it went from, like, the straight racing, from the racing scene to action. Oriented, something. which a lot of people like, yeah, but also hate it. Whether you love it or hate it, the you love the car the racing, no, or you like the action stuff. It's a big city. There has to be. But Resident Evil went off the rails in not such a good way that people actually didn't like where the franchise went after the Raccoon City, the out zombie outbreak stuff, basically. And people felt like they just deviated from their roots from the zombie apocalypse like kind of thing here. to just crazy thing with viruses and stuff. And Resident Evil has always been about the whole virus aspect. But the whole point was like zombies and the mystery oh, about who created them and yeah, Umbrella call. Corporation. Ah! That was, that's what made the series basically popular. The mystery of the Umbrella Corporation, the zombie outbreak in, a, in this in the Raccoon City. It's literally what makes the series so popular. Monsters also, like, some of the bigger zombies, like, honestly, really oh, good. Shit. There, get out. Get out now! Hold on! How many times can I say Claire and Leon survived this when they shouldn't have survived most of the stuff that they're going to encounter in this game? Like getting mashed up against the wall, kicked and tormented ex to explosion and shit. It's like, 
how does the character survive this? If this is realistic, which most of the games are, how are the characters surviving this? The basic answer is they got plot armor. That's what I'm say. Claire! Claire, are you okay? It shouldn't be. Yeah, I'm alright. How about you? Not really. You can't stay here. It's not safe. Go on ahead. I'll meet you at the station. I'll be there. Now, guys. This is out of control. It's because of Resident Evil and the, and the remake that um, it makes me want to go and play Evil Within. Because Evil Within is basically the same thing as Resident Evil. Different name, but in different Shit. premise. It's everybody. But the Evil Within also got me intrigued, and I, I downloaded the game. I haven't played it yet. I haven't played it or its sequel. But there it is. The honestly, station. I want to play Evil Within now, but I feel like it's a little too hard for me. This one is like I'm not gonna say basic, but it's just not as hardcore as future games will be. Obviously. So yeah, the evil within pretty much have the same well touch and feel like as as Resident Evil. And not for nothing, but it was also made by the same people who made Resident Evil, but Hello? well the original. Is anybody here? Oh, that's right, I can I can get rid of this bad boy here. Sorry, when you played this game a couple times, you'll understand, but... And, yeah, it's just, like, weird. But yeah, Evil Within had basically the same... Someone here. ...same premise. Or at least the same feel as Resident Evil. Except with Resident Evil taking place in the real world... Evil Within takes place in the head, the like in the mind. In Send reinforcements! East hallway! I gotta find that guy. Which is why I feel like... Okay, hold on. Lex weapons added. I completely forgot I have a gun in here. Another gun, but I don't get bullets for that until later, so whatever. But yeah, like Evil Within, it takes place in the head, like literally in your head. And what happens is that basically evil in evil with evil within you um it's taking place in your brain, basically, which is basically like the same thing. It's just like and, but it's not the same thing. But Evil Within has a better concept. Like in here, in Resident Evil, you're just playing against zombies. You're just fighting against them. You're doing all this and that, but. And it's taking place in the real world, and Resident Evil does, deals with viruses. Evil Within deals with, like, dealing with, um, people connected, you know, in the brain, like, all connected to one person. And you're all basically, you're basically inside someone else's head, and it's all, your consciousness is linked into someone else's brain. By the way, I'm just gonna do this. But yeah, I played this before, so I'm, I'm gonna go out of like out of normal proportion. So shut up. But but yeah, like. With Evil Within, 
it was all taking place inside your head, and you knew that. Why you didn't get more bullets when you were inside your head, I shit you not, I have no idea. But... Yes, I'm gonna be saving a bunch. What's it to you? <sighs> Sorry, guys. I'm, if I if I stop in the middle of it, it's because I'm texting my boyfriend. So please. Bear with me. Bear with me, people. to find um that you know what I hate about gameplay sometimes it's the lighting it's the gosh darn lighting especially when it's realistic you got this man you got this personal pet joke I'm gonna lift this for a second <laughs> Where's the light switch on this bitch? By the way, there's gonna be a ton of swearing, so I hope that you're over eight. Boyfriend's cuddling a baby. So maybe you're a baby. Him cuddling a little baby. <laughs> Sorry. I think he's adorable. Anyway, what was I talking about? Oh, Evil Within. I want to play Evil Within, but the only reason I haven't really. Okay, let's go to map for a second. The only reason I haven't. Yeah, I know. Shut up. The only reason I want to play Evil Within is because it just reminded me so much of Resident Evil. And I'm not saying Resident Evil is bad because Evil Within is good or whatever, but I'm just saying that I like Evil. I liked the Evil Within. When I watched Markiplier's playthrough of Evil Within, it just intrigued me a lot. And honestly, I really liked it a lot. Like, yeah, Resident Evil has its flaws up and down and everything like that. And it's not bad. Don't think that it's bad or anything, but... I don't think Resident Evil is bad. Like, I never thought, like, the game was terrible or anything like that. I actually thought it was Jesus. very... I actually thought it was very intriguing. Open up! Hurry! Open up! Open this goddamn door! Okay, interrupt me much? I'll get you out! But... <laughs> yeah, I always Please. wanted to play it. Come here, help me! Especially after when I, I saw the Markiplier play for I thought, back in 2013 when we recorded that, I just watched every episode that came out. I didn't know anything about it. I didn't even want to play with the first game. Markiplier had played for this game. I first saw that a lot of stuff. But, 
I didn't even know he played the first game. It's just... Sorry, that's... I think that's gross! Whoever had to make the violet organs, like... What the hell, dude? What the hell? Oh, wait. That dude's gonna come in, isn't he? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought, motherfucker. Yeah, that's what I fucking thought. Yeah. I gotta go. Jesus! They're everywhere! Thing about being it about taking place in someone else's mind. Just like watch out. Just like intrigued me. Like just so much. Orvin! No. Thanks. Marvin Brown. Leon Kennedy. There was another off strike I couldn't. By the way, the only reason yeah. I never got into playing Evil Within is because I didn't think I was good enough at games to, like, play the game I'm sure in the you first did, place. But you could, Leon. I didn't think I was good enough for playing video games. I am... I'm not bad, but I'm started this? not good. Not a clue. But honestly, all you need to know is that this place will eat you alive if you aren't careful. Yeah, well, I was supposed to start last week, and I got a call to stay away. I wish I'd come here sooner. You're here now, Leon. That's all that matters. Okay, Lieutenant. I'm ready. Hopefully you'll be able to find a way out of this station. That officer you met earlier, Elliot. He thought this secret passageway might do the trick. Mm. This is good news. We can get you to hospital. No, no, I am not the priority here. Lieutenant, I'm not just gonna leave you here. I'm giving you an order, rookie! You save yourself first. I'd come with you, but I'd just slow you down. Now, you'll need this. I can't take it. Stop. And don't make my mistake. If you see one of those things, uniform or not, you do not hesitate. You take it out. Or you run. Got it? Yes, sir. <laughs> By the way, when Marvin said that, that's a reference to Resident Evil 3, the remake. When he... He basically hesitated when, in a moment, like, killing a fellow officer or friend. Like... It basically, in Resident Evil 3, you see Marvin get attacked. And he gets attacked by, um... What's it called? Uh, what's his name? Brad Vickers. He was in RE1. Don't ask how I know. But, yeah, like, he basically gets attacked by Brad Vickers, and he hesitated to, like, save him, or, like, to shoot him. And so that ended up, that's the reason, that's how he got bit in the first place. This is because Brian's the one who bit him. Day. But yeah. Oh, herb. Have, have I been missing herbs? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try, I was more, the last time I played this game, or went back and played the game, I was very good when it came to, like, my um, health supply. Oh, can I be this? Can I be good with my health supply this time? Probably not, but hey, say loving. I don't know how they, um, how the helicopter went down in the first place. 
How do how do the zombies even reach that far? Uh, agreed, Leon. Agreed. Well, his teeth look like they haven't been brushed in months. Oh God. Fucking liquors, liquor dickers, and I hate the liquors. But they're nothing. They're cherry fodder compared to eventual monsters, as you'll see. By the way, I'm gonna be trying to be concerned about my ammo because honestly, uh, but yeah, back to Evil Within. Like, okay, I'll come back here and you know. <laughs> Alright, let's just, let's kill this guy. Jesus, come on. I swear I'm not this bad of a shot. I knew there was. I should have known. But. Alright, what lockers can I unlock? 106, 106, 109. I can't do the two. Okay, 106 and 109. Yeah, find some spare keys. I think I know where they are. Yeah, the whole concept of Re of Evil Within. I didn't think I I didn't play those games because I didn't play them because I didn't think I was gonna be good enough for them. I thought I was actually gonna be really really bad at them. And hell, maybe I will be bad at them. Hell, maybe I will be bad at them. But, um... Can I get this right? Without even... Be glad you're not here, Rookie. And... It should be Ned, right? Yeah... Can I get the next one right? I wasn't gonna get this right. Is there anything else in here? There is something else in here. Alright, I'll get it. You motherfucker, yeah. Safe.
Okay. Okay, so, um... Nine... Fifteen... Seven. Yes, more space, thank the lord. Did I get everything else in here? I did. And I can't get out, I can't go to the um, main floor until I get the spade key, am I right? Am I right? Yes. Look, my chest knowledge, I know nothing about, so, quiet. I'm gonna wait for a red. Honestly, you don't need the wooden boards in this game. The wooden boards are useless, fairly. But, unless you want to, like, put those up. See? All it takes is waiting. Now I need is a blue and... Yeah, I think I know where that is. Okay. Save. Alright. Let's go upstairs. <laughs> Another red herb. I've got three herbs to my name. Is this one Cap? Me talking about Captain America. <laughs> anyway, what was I talking about? Oh, I don't have the shotgun yet. I need the card. Jesus, that scared the crap out of me. Nothing in this game franchise has scared me, but that absolutely did. I, I can't deny that I was shook. The portable safe. I need to get, um, the wheel. But first, let me do the portable safe. Yes, I know. Shut up. Examine the crap out of this. Let's do it. Damn it, I pressed the wrong thing. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. First try. Alright, now I can, um... Take my knife, why don't you? 
Son of a bitch. Agreed, Leon. What the? This is why I ran out of ammo, by the way. Because ammo is just so hard to come by when you're in a game franchise that is constantly, like, taking all your ammunition. Thank God the game re reimburses you. If you were in hardcore mode, ammunition ammunition would be so freaking hard. What was it? DCM. My dumbass. Anyway. Mag ammo? Now? And I finally got the space key. Yay. Now I'm gonna go back down. Now there are places that need to open. Especially before the tyrant gets here. Oh, by the way, this is going to be a very long recording, so... I hope you're prepared to sit back and enjoy some, watch some popcorn. I'm going to play this entire game in one, hopefully, an hour. Who knows how long this will be, but... Let's put it in the two slot. Okay. Oh, 102 for one. Yeah. What, do I, what can I get from the two slots? Okay, 208. And 203. 208 and 203, okay. Oh, I don't have the three yet, so I can't get shit from there. Hey, at least I'm getting a lot of shotgun ammo. That's a good thing. I'm gonna unlock this, and then I can go upstairs to unlock. Oh, he called. He called me. Like, are. come here, take a look. Yes, I knew she'd make it. You know her? Yeah, name's Claire. I came into town with her. You can get to that courtyard. Through the second floor, east side. <laughs> I'm on it. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks, Lieutenant. Thank you, Marvin. That was really sweet. Wait, wait a few. It's already been 40 minutes into this recording. We barely started the game. This is gonna be a very long. Then again, I've seen Let's Players do this longer than you know, just one hour. Uh, I should probably put away some of these things. I'm gonna unlock this. Oh, and then I can go in and get the gun. There's so much stuff to get, and I'm so happy. Welcome to Raccoon City. The police station has been there for God knows how long. By the way, in case you didn't know, the orphanage with Raccoon City. I'm pretty sure they were, um... Th that the Umbrella Corporation was... You know using kids in their illegal experiments 
that's why the orphanage was so pivotal. Like that's why like when you play as Claire, it's like it's implied that Rax um it's implied that, well, the kids were used in the experiments. That's why Umbrella was one of the benefactors for the orphanage, because they were using kids on, as in, in their experiments so that no one would get suspicious. That's why they bought the orphanage, because so that people wouldn't get suspicious of their experiments on kids. But, yeah, like... That's why they bought the orphanage in the first place. I, I just wanted to point that out. That's why um, they're one of the benefactors because they bought the orphanage so that they can use the kids. But also, I just uh, I find that very upsetting. Umbrella Corp or Corporation can go. The Umbrella Corporation can go screw itself. Honestly, I never trusted Umbrella to begin with. I need the shotgun for those mother truckers. Oh, finally I can discard this discard this spade key. Yeah. Fine. Free up a space. Alright, let me just kill these mother truckers. Alright, what was the, um, thing for the unicorn? Oh, there's this notebook, yeah. Fish, scorpion, bottle. Fish, scorpion, bottle. I'm gonna need to go back to my box for a while. Now wait, go back and yeah, go back and get the red book. Just so I can have it. Just so I can have the satisfaction of having it. Yeah, I gotta go back to my box first. Foremost, before I do any of this, ah, oh, maybe I don't have to. Some nice dribblings. You burned a bunch of people, basically. That's what you should take away from that note. Just take away from that note that he murdered a bunch of people and all that jazz. Where are the bullets? Right around here. Oh, they're right here. And that's right. And I, all I gotta do is get the detonator thing.
I take it I need to take the red book with me, but for the most part, I think I'm gonna put away um first of all I'm gonna put away the mag ammo because I don't I do not need that yet. I don't even have the gun for that yet, so I could put away this. Put away the boards. Put away the mag ammo, definitely. And I can put away one of these, so. And I keep the gunpowder just in case I get more. So. Okay, what did I miss? Again, I'm not a completionist, so. Shut up. Oh, wait, there it was. No, not you. Store. I'm gonna keep the shotgun ammo just in case I get the shotgun this time around. And save. Save. You never know! Now we can go see Claire or whatever, so. We're gonna hear that helicopter crash, by the way. But. Two out of three medallions so far. So far, I'm doing pretty darn well. Not as fast as I wish I was. But then again... No. The art room. There's the key card. And what about art? Yeah. By the way, in case you didn't know, most jewelry is just plain old cursed, if I'm being completely honest. But, yeah, in case you didn't know, some jewels in the world are just plain old cursed. They... They're the reason why, um, so many people hate them. And anything else in here? No. Sorry. Oh, I need like the crank for that. Okay. Pretty sure I know what I need to get in this hallway, besides the whole cranky egg thing. And conveniently, here comes the helicopter crash. Conveniently, it crashes right as I get to the door. Why? I mean, that's freaking effing strange. Sorry, my dude. How did the helicopter crash in the first place? Are there monsters that can reach- Oh, wait, Nemesis. I was like, why are there helicopters- Why are helicopters crashing in this world? Unless they're picking up people and they're getting taken down by monsters that can take them down from a certain height. Claire! Hold on! I'll be right there! Otherwise, helicopters okay. in Raccoon City should not be, like, crashing. They should be succeeding at getting people out of the city. Claire. Plus they're being taken down by hordes of zombies, so nice then, then that's, that's another How case altogether. That helicopter just came out yeah. of nowhere. I'm in one piece. I'm guessing you don't have a key in one of those fancy pockets? Uh, unfortunately, no. Mm. But how are you doing? You know, just surviving. <laughs> that's good. God, they're so good cute together. No, not yet. Claire, don't lose hope. I'm sure we're gonna find him. Oh yeah, by the way, no if you all, if, if all of you yeah. out there watching, who watch Netflix, Fine. did you watch Infinite Darkness? I think yeah, Claire I think and Leon, after, after the events of Raccoon City, they seem unstoppable, but after Raccoon City, they just had a falling out. Now. And at the end of the entire, like, um, whatever episodes or whatever, through this, both of us. and after Infinite Darkness, it's implied that Leon and Claire just had a falling out, they didn't talk to each other after that. 
I haven't watched it because I don't have Netflix. Uh, Marvin, but I've got a situation here. I'm surrounded by zombies. Marvin, do you copy? Marvin! Damn it. Yeah, it's just lie that Claire and Leon just had a falling out after Infinite Darkness. I don't know why. It would explain why they don't talk to each other in the games anymore. It actually would explain a lot as to why they're... We don't see them in the game. We don't see them together in games anymore, or... Why Claire never talked to Leon, or... Whatnot. Just to get rid of you. I gotta come back? Wait. Unless... No! No! Definitely not. I need, I need all the ammunition I can freaking get. Unless... Boom shakalaka. I need that electronic part, damn it! Oh, the love of God! Open the damn doors already! Seriously? Using up all my damn ammunition. It's like, screw you, dude. I'll have to come back for that, definitely. I can just go back in here and get my knife right now. What else am I miss? Okay. I've got everything out of here. Thank the lord. Is there a safe? Okay. No safe. Good. I have to go back to... There's just wooden boards there. Fuck you! Hold on. No! Not what I want. I'm storing you. I'm storing you. There are a few places I need to go back and get to literally unlock the bolt cutters. And one of them is back the other way. Gosh darn it. But first, before I do that, I need to get my shotgun. So I'm gonna go to the weapons closet. Whatever. Still alive. Barely. Sorry. That was a poor pace. My bad. Yeah, this is the fastest way to get to the weapons closet. Lord. Yeah. 
then I gotta go up. No! It's not what I freaking want. Thank God. 16 shotgun shells. Hell to the yes. Number four, reload. I'm definitely gonna use this more. Alright. Where should I go next? I have to go... Okay, I'm gonna go back. Yeah, I need to go back to like the way I came. Oh no, it was this way, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Gosh darn it. At least I have my shotgun now. It's better to get the shotgun early on. That way, whenever you face up against pretty much anything. <laughs> No, stop with the examining shit. Anyway. My god. So many mother effing zombies. Oh, good, I got the detonator. I don't need the bolt cars anymore. Thank you, lord. Because I was starting to get worried. Also, I won't get, um... I should probably just take the boards. Take the boards already. Just take them. You're gonna need them anyway. Take everything out of there. I left a flash grenade in there. Damn it! Come on through. Come on through, my dude. Do this. It's right there. That flash grenade is way more important than you will ever be. Okay. And now I can go and, um, go upstairs. See? The shotgun does come in handy. I don't know if I can take it. I probably should have saved. I think I'll, I think I'll be fine. Yeah, the liquor takes what? Three shots? goodness. Oof. Yeah, the liquor takes what? Three shots? Yes. Yeah, I know. Well, technically, I think the liquor takes, like, what? Oh, yeah, shotgun... Ammo is not easy to come by in this game. It's really not. I've got like five mother effing stars. Always looks freaking expensive. And I'm back to 14 shotgun shells. I still have to get that. Besides that, no good. Okay. Besides. Getting the stars badge, I've gotten everything in here. And I just gotta walk. 
When it comes to the liquors, they can't see you, but they can definitely hear you. I need to go upstairs. But first, I need to deposit some freaking ammunition. I mean, not ammunition. Some first aids because I have too many of them in my, in my disposal. Go get um first we're gonna save sorry if i've been a little bit quieter than usual but i've been trying to focus we haven't even gotten through the first half of the game it's been like an hour i may have to stop this recording who am i kidding people record games for less they spend hours on games sometimes like i'm going the wrong way gosh darn it but yeah am i to say if Capcom decides to make an RE4 remake, please recast with the Nick Apostolidis. Because he honestly was a really good... He was a really good, um... He was a really good Leon. And I saw him, um, and one of the other voice actors from the game. Like, the voice... The girl... The woman who voiced Jill. Jill Valentine. In the third game. I saw them play this game, like, together. Like, as Leon. I honestly thought that was really cool. Okay, so it's four and two. What was the woman's? No officer's notebook. Woman arrow snake. Lady Arrow Snake. Ha ha ha, I get it. Lady Arrow. Did I get everything out of here? Yes, I have. All I gotta do now is just... Oh you know what? I can easily kill the slicker. Hearing caution, Leon, you're fine. I'm not gonna die. Where's my knife? I don't get my knife back? Great. Well, who am I kidding? I'm gonna get plenty of knives when it comes to this game. <sighs> And by the way, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna need this thing to go be, be back up because when the tyrant gets involved, it's gonna be a I need I need to escape like fast, like super duper fast. Oh god. 
This mother. Oh. I need to stop wasting my shotgun ammo. But I had to kill that liquor just because I need to go this way. And it's the fastest route. And now you need to get another. You see what I mean? When you get caught in animations like that, that's one thing I hate about Resident Evil the remake. Like, not Resident Evil the remake. Resident Evil 2 the remake. You know what I hated most about it? It was just like, you got caught in animations, the zombies would just be grabbing you like crazy. Let's take this out. And let's take just another first aid spray out. I'm gonna keep the ruby just in case I come back, but. Which I will come back, but you get the point. But yeah, when you get caught in animations, it's just like. Bro. Kidding me, right? Plus, I need the shotgun ammo for when I fight against Willy B for the first time. Like, let me just tell ya, Willy B fights bitch in this game. But nothing compared to the bitch with a tyrant later on. Oh, all you gotta do in the final battle is hold him off long enough. Or just stay alive long enough to get the, the rocket so launch. You only have to shoot him or anything. Huh. You just have to avoid That's his it. arm by sending him the rocks. And Lieutenant Brenna! Damn. Marvin! You win. And then you just wait for the rocket launch it's to come, to and then you just try to avoid him one more time, and then boom. Marvin. You win. We need to get you to End a hospital game. right now. No, no, I uh, save yourself. I don't know which ending boss fight is no. more annoying, Leon's or Claire's boss fight. Just can... Is he gonna it's use the gun on himself? Late. He knows that he's. I tried, Leon, but I couldn't stop it. You mean you can't stop it? We can't let this thing spread. It's on you now. And I thought Marvin. A lot of people probably thought like Marvin was gonna use that gun himself, like I understand. because he didn't want to turn into that thing, turn into a monster. He was gonna use the gun himself, but he couldn't because suicide. I don't know. I don't know why he didn't use that gun himself if he knew he was gonna turn into a monster. I guess because he was in the he was in the infected area anyway. That I won't let you go, Marvin. I guess because he let himself turn because he was in an infected area and it's better to keep those things contained in one area than, you know, in two. Multiple areas. Ah, more shotgun shells, thank you. Thank god. What if he didn't have the shotgun for this area? Man, it would be a bitch and a half. Combine. Okay. Reload. And I've got. So, a reminder come back here so I can twist this. I gotta fight against Willy B for the first time. Here's some tips for playing Resident Evil 2 the remake if you're a first time view player hit the eye the first time. Because. The eye is the key. When you first encounter William Birkin, hit him in the eye. The eye is, is the sweet spot. That way you'll like kill him. No, well, you won't kill him. He'll come back. He'll coming back. But you'll get him faster and everything like that. The tyrant is like Leon's bitch in this game, honestly. <laughs> Sorry, but he is. He's constantly coming after Leon. He's con it's like. He's like this. He's like Leon's personal stalker. It's honestly hilarious. Yeah, I need, I need the badge. I'll I get I'll get the badge. Like, I definitely need the freaking grenade. Yes, I know. Shut up. I'm definitely gonna need that. I'm gonna need the flash grenade and the hand grenades. 
playing in RE3, you get so many cool weapons, but the boss fights against the Nemesis are a bitch and a half, if I'm being honest. Should I say, a son of a bitch and a half. They're nothing compared to the Willy B fights, but honestly, the Willy B fights versus the Nemesis fights and the Tyrant fights are nothing compared to Nemesis. Nemesis is annoying. Nemesis is not a joy. Willy B and the Tyrant are more frustrating than Nemesis, I'll give you that. But, oh, because they don't play fair. Nemesis doesn't play fair either, but Nemesis is really annoying. Willie B and Tyrant are frustrating. <sighs> Trust me, I've had to rage quit this game. How many times? Jesus. We're still working on this thing. Alright. Let's just go. I'm gonna gather up all the items. I don't have a green herb, unfortunately. You know what, number two. Let's just, just, just... Let's do number two first. Oh, wait. You know what? <laughs> the first fight is with him is... It's not fair game, but it's tame by comparison to other... To the, the future fights. Yeah, yeah. You gotta hit the eye. That's that's the key. The key is hitting the eye, and when you hit the eye, he'll go down a lot faster. Trust me, he will. I could gather up all the stuff later, but speaking from experience, come here, come here, you bitch. No choice. Gotta take it down. And I swear, when Leon gets hurt, it's just like... <sighs> See? Hand grenades come in handy. Haha, <laughs> I get it. They come in handy, like, so often in this game. Oh my god, Leon, can you go any slower, my dude? Damn. Where is it? I have a pretty good idea about where he is. Oh, for the love of God. My fine trait. Get up, Leon, get up. Sorry guys, sorry. Jeez. See what I mean? Getting caught in animation. It sucks and a half.
especially when you run out of ammunition. God. At least you don't have to encounter him a lot, a lot longer after this. I mean, after this, you don't have to encounter him as much. nice thing. This is why I can't have as many health items. Thank you. Yeah, you don't, you don't encounter really be as much in this game, like... I mean, after this, you don't encounter him as much. After this, you don't really encounter him as much, but... Man, it's a pinch and a half when it comes to the fights. I had to rage quit so hard. Watching. Just because this game fucking sucks ass. Well, not the game entirely, but just like the way that you get caught in animations because of bosses like that. It makes me so mad, and I don't know why, but I just know it just pisses me off. I'm gonna move stuff around. I have no health items. Well, I have more, but I had like over, what, seven items? Seven of them? Maybe more? Well, not more, but... You get the point. But, yeah, like, you don't encounter Willie B as much eventually after this, but, I mean, you'll, you'll, when you like, when you go looking for Ada, basically, oh, I forgot you could do that, yeah, but when you go looking for Ada, you'll encounter him a couple of times, a couple of times and a half, sorry, sorry, jeez, okay. I'm gonna take out one of these. Okay, so I have like four of these bad boys. I'm gonna keep the gun, the gunpowder, just in case. And also, because I am fearful of dying in this game, I'm gonna save a bunch. So. I have no shotgun shells. I have like over 20 something. Originally, but you know, bosses they tend to just steal what is rightfully yours. <sighs> I'll look around here as soon as this animation's over. You can see the dogs sneaking up. Oh, the zombie dogs are not the biggest bitch in this game, but the most, like, just hardest to kill. But they're moving so damn fast! They're going for me! Yeah, all the zombie dogs, they all use them to stop it. Thank God, they come to our rescue, like he always does in these games. 
Whenever Leon's in trouble that? or needs help, Ada's hey, always there. Up. She's always there! RE6, RE4, she's always there to save Leon's ass. Constantly. Whenever he's like in Lower. terrible danger. FBI. Or fighting off against anything. Sorry. Fake badge, After watching it, I'm so bad, so I can tell a fake badge from a real badge. Jeez. Your help. Surprised you made it this You would think as a cop, Leon would be able to tell a fake badge yeah, from a real badge. What's going on here? Sorry, that information's classified. Where are you going? Do yourself a favor. Stop asking questions and get oh, the, hell the beginning out. of many, many questions. Leon constantly asking Ada. The beginning of a relationship. <laughs> Ada constantly having to save Leon, sorry ass. And hey, Ada. I'm not done talking to you. Leon constantly asking questions. He always does this with Ada. Like he's only yelling her name like Ada, like always asking questions. And it's like weird. They're Leon and his relationship. Honestly, weird this relationship the RE franchise has put out there. I'm gonna first I'm gonna go on I thought I saw a dog. Okay. Ada, I, I don't I never understood Ada and Leon's relationship. Honestly, it just I never understood it. Thought it was weird. Honestly, I didn't know why they liked each other. Why Ada, like, liked Leon. Did she even like Leon? Probably, but also probably not. Trust me when I tell you I'm doing a favor. Right. Yeah, sit down, mother trucker. I'm doing us all a favor. Now this puzzle is a bitch. Hello? Well, it can hey. be. I don't believe it. A real human. <laughs> Hello, human. You've been here long? Long enough. Are we the last ones alive? No, no, there's a few of us. Huh. That's good news, I guess. Yeah. That's of course Irons sent you. Irons? You mean Chief Irons? Is he still around? Who cares? Hopefully he's still around. If you knew the truth. What do you mean by that? He's if only Leon knew the truth ended. about Chief Irons, I'm he'd be sure disgusted he to be part really. of that force. He did. I was about to blow the whistle on his dirty ass. I'd have done the same thing to him, I guess. Oh, the tire, and here he comes. Hey, He's gonna be a bitch to I'll deal with deal. when I get back to RPD. Lock this cell and I'll give you this. There's no other way out of that parking garage. Believe me. Sorry, I can't do that. I have to talk to the chief first. Look, we're both prisoners in this station. So either we play nice and help each other out. Or... Shit, it's coming. What? What's coming? Come on, come on, don't be Biggest. an asshole. Hey, you Biggest need ass. this. Just get me the fuck out of here! The biggest uh, dick uh, 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 in this game, uh, Leon. Uh, 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 oh my god. I think crush a guy a man's skull with just one hand. It's like, bruh. Who is that? It's just me. So you can put that thing away. I don't even know what happened. Also, how many times can I die in this? Mm -hmm. So quick. I told you to get out of here. You wouldn't want to end up like Ben, would you? You knew him? He was an informant. Had information of use to my investigation. So what he said was true? Hey, you can't keep walking away from me. I don't even know your name. I'm Leon Kennedy. That little Find smirk. Out, Leon. Before it's too late. Then we'll talk. 
Name's Ada. We don't even know if Ada on. Wong is her real name. She's got like a Black Widow side alias. Where we don't even know what her real name is. Like, Ada's so secretive that we don't know anything about her. Not really. So... Besides, she could totally be lying to Leon about her real name and everything, so... Yeah, we don't really know anything about Ada. Not really. We don't even know if that's her real name, so... If Ada Wong is a real name, or it's just something she made up because of racist stereotypes. So yeah, I hope that sticks in your mind, all you RE fans out there. Alright. Oh god, the ducks! Let's just deal with them first and foremost. Wait a minute. Hold up. I needed a blue. Thank you, Lord. Let's deal with these dogs first and foremost, right here and now. Let's just deal with the dogs right here and now. Deal with the dogs right here and now, rather than the next time. Oh, we're gonna get a key. We're gonna get a key in here, aren't we? Yeah, not enough. Bullets I lost pretty early on in the game, but when it came to... When it came down to, um, like, health items, I was fairly okay, until I got to the sec to the, um, third Big Willy B fight, and then, oh man, life was a big bitch with me afterwards. Let's just leave it at that. You know what? I'm gonna deal with this fucker right here and now. Yeah. A diamond key. <laughs> There's also something, there, there has to be like something else in, in one of these. Uh, if I'm crazy. Yeah. I'm just gonna keep you in there. For good reason. I need to get more bullets. Agreed, Leon. Let's just leave it at that. Yeah, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need a herb. And there should not be nothing in here, right? Yeah. Take everything out of here? Yes. I need to get more bullets before I, like, face off against the frickin' dogs. Then I'm gonna get to go back to the, um...
still. So far. Pretty do doing pretty well for myself. Considering everything. Oh, I gotta go to the car. Another red herb. Actually, you know what? Ah, oh, shit! Four shotgun shells. All right. Okay, so we're doing fairly good for ourselves. I'm gonna go back out to the car, to the police car, and then we'll should be this one, right? I'm asking you guys as if you know, huh? Yes, it is. Let's go back here. Now we can go to that section with the... Uh... Because that should lead right back to the... You know. Then we're going to have to deal with these... Uh, I only have six bullets in that. Should get more bullets over here. Oh, wait. I go the wrong way? No, I didn't. It's the right way. And there's one of the power panel parts. Yes! Examine the crap out of this butt boy. Can I just go put that thing in there? You know, where it belongs? Okay, now I've got one too many. Like I said, did super duper well when it came to the first hand, like, having a bunch of, like, you know, ammunition. Had plenty of ammunition to go around.
No, okay. Close. Okay. No, fudge. Just... Oh, jeez. My screen flashed black. I hope that my recording still goes. Oh, great. Wrong effing way. I got more bullets than this. No! I don't have time for you! I really don't. I gotta go, I gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. I don't have the bullets to deal with those fuckers. Thank god I'm gonna be reimbursed. Woof! Thank god I get reimbursed here. No, wait, first I gotta go in here. Need to put away this. And you. And you. Well, actually, scratch that. Take you out. No, not store. Take you out. Combine with you. And now I can put some. Speaking of. Or mag ammo. Save. So, wow, this is taking a long time. But at least we're at the halfway point. I should feel better knowing that I'm away from those freaking bloodthirsty dogs. But I'm not. I'm still not happy. <laughs> Thank you, I need that. Actually, no, I'm not going to go that way. Oh, wonderful. Marvin! Oh, no. Damn it. Agreed. 
Alright, where do I need to go? I need to go back down there. And the worst part is, the tyrant's gonna be on my ass very soon. Every time I shoot off my gun, he knows where I am. I need to go. Where do I need to go? Uh, yeah, yeah. So I was here. Oh, I needed to go up to the waiting room. Gosh darn it, on a stick. I'm on the second floor already, so... And hey, if I die, at least I have saved, so... Oh, I keep forgetting! The mother effing liquor is here. No! You, damn it! Go, Leon, go! <sighs> yeah, I need to go to the waiting room. Because I, I, I can use the crane over there. I completely forgot. Sorry, guys. Brain fart. So. I keep forgetting where I need to go. Oh, for the love of God. Red alert, red alert, red alert. <laughs> I said, t I said to myself, remind me to use the damn prank. And I also gotta use it back up where the statue is. Well, under the statue. So that whenever I go into the sewers, remind myself, please, please go to the freaking, go to the mother effing, I'm gonna go upstairs first. The go, please, please remind me to go literally, you know, to the mother effing staircase. You know what I wish was in here? Freaking bullets. Oh, I don't need this anymore. Okay. I think it's for, um, like, the other crank. And by crank, I mean crank, not crank as in you know, the cranks from Maze Runner. You know what I'm talking about. Don't act like you're like I'm dumb. Oh great, that took up two spaces. Where are you? So I got everything in there that I could. So I mean, ammunition is so hard to come by in this game. And the worst part is, is that the tyrant is coming. Well, he doesn't come until I lift the helicopter up, so that's a good sign, I guess. I have boards. I can't go in here until I get, like, the... I can't go in here until I get the shamrock key. 
so that sucks, which I won't get until the tyrant comes. And he'll come as soon as I lift the damn helicopter. So that's not a good sign. I also have to use the di use it on the diamond door. Where is the diamond door? There's a knife in the library. I got to get the badge, which I won't get until I go into the sh into the door with the shamrock key on it. Oh. There's so much to do. Okay. You know what? Face your damn fears. I'm going to go back upstairs. You don't go into the heart doors until, like, Claire, which sucks, because if Leon could go to those heart doors, he would know so much about what Chief Irons, who she, like, what Chief Irons was really up to, like, who he really... I gotta go back to my box. I gotta go back! Because I need to get the shamrock key, and I don't... Oh wait, I'll go- I will get to a box immediately as I get- My dumbass. But yeah, if Leon could go through the hard doors, he would find out so much. Cause when you go through the hard doors as Claire, you find out what, what a piece of shit Irons is. Like, how he's been taxiderming people. And he kidnapped people, and he's not such a good person at all. In fact, I think he was working for, um, he's working with William Birkin. So, yeah. Let that sink in. No. I need to go to the box. Come on. That's gonna be useful eventually, but... And the problem is... I only have four shotgun shells, which will be useful against these mother truckers. Thank God. Son of a bitch. Yeah, and stay the F down. Reload. <laughs> store. Store you as well. I'm gonna take you out. Combine with you. We're good. And then I can take the shamrock key, and I can't go back. Well, I need to go get my- first I'm gonna go and get my- Yeah, thank god. Well, first I'm gonna- I'm gonna come back and save anyway, so... I'm gonna get my, um... Boulets. Ah! What the frick? What is this? What is this bullcrap? Now I gotta go back to the box! See what I mean? So many freaking health items. So many health items. What can I use them on? I can use them on this. I'm gonna store you. And take you out. Combine you with you. And store you. See what I mean? So many freaking health items. So many health items. Good lord. Well, now let's go get those boules, and we'll let Mr. X, or whatever his name is, in. Doing really well in health. Not so much on bullets. But I keep spending them on freaking... These fuckers. Alright. Number two. Alright, let's go do this, then we'll save. And you get the point. Because at least if I save, at least I'll have my items. And I won't have to redo all this. We're gonna save first. That way I don't have to go back and forth and back and forth. You get the point. So far, 
We're almost at the two hour mark when it comes to this recording. Which should suck, but do you see the amount of people on YouTube who literally record gameplay for almost three and a half hours? It's basically called the uncut version of stuff, but do you see the amount of YouTubers who, like, spend hours editing or just recording gameplay, streaming it live? You know how many people do that on YouTube? Too many people. Mostly speedrunners, but you get the point. Here he comes, and I'm going straight back. Jesus Christ! No, that's not Jesus Christ, Leon. I'm taking a lot of jokes from Jacksepticeye, because I loved his playthrough of Resident Evil. Yes, he did it in parts, unlike me, who's literally doing it in one go. But, hey. I'm taking a lot of jokes from him. Just because I love the jokes, and... Look at me, just staring into Leon's beautiful blue eyes. That's a stereotype, by the way. That the blonde hair, blue-eyed, handsome man has to win the day. Yeah. Look at me, Leon. Yeah. Isn't he handsome? How, tell him all those- Yeah, I know what you're talking about. All ladies out there who fantasize about being with Leon S. Kennedy. Is he gone? No. He isn't gonna bust in, right? He only shows up whenever I start shooting off my gun. Whenever I make noise. He's, he's like the liquors. Whenever you start making noise, he just shows up out of nowhere. It's honestly the most annoying trait in a monster in a video game ever. Okay, I think he's gone. But yeah, you gotta be quiet. With Mr. X, you just gotta be quiet with him. Like, if you're not quiet, he will come after you. At least the helicopter's lifted up, so now I can go back to where I came from. But also, you can't run. Which is annoying! Oh. I can hear him. I gotta go that way! Damn it, damn it, damn it. Gosh. Damn it. He's following me. Oh! I had to wait for him to leave. Gosh darn it, why don't you leave me alone? You damn fuck knuckle. I told you there was gonna be a lot of swearing in this. Shut your freaking mouth. For my potty mouth. Oh yeah, by the way, in case you couldn't tell what year it is when it's taking place in this game, 1998. Hey, one year before I'd be born. I was just a baby in the womb at this time. Yes, now I can go back to the star's office and get the damn- Yes. You win. Alright, now I can go back to the star's office. Thank you, Lord of Mercy! Let's go. I, I can't leave. I need bullets. Yes. Specifically those, thank you. Okay. Like I said, he'll leave, eventually. But, if you, like... You see what I mean? The only reason you can't come in this room is because both doors are locked. You would think the tyrant, for all of his strength, would be able to bust down these doors. No problem. Alright. Run past him! Let's do this! I don't care. I really don't. 
Get out of my way. Boop. Go. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I can go by the star's office. Let's just go to the waiting room. But yeah, he's a bitch and a half. He will be a bitch and a half later on, but yeah. What did I tell you? All right, let's go to the back of the star. We can get through, uh, we can go through the west office if Marvin would move his ass. You know what I'm gonna say? Because I have a feeling the tyrant's gonna try to kill me, and if he does, oh! But first, we gotta unlock all these doors. Before we go to the star's office, I want to unlock all these doors that I missed. Second floor. There should be a door that I... The linen room. Which I can get through the lounge, the library, uh, the liquor is down there. First, I'm gonna go to the records room because I have a feeling that... I can enter that room now, so I'm gonna go through reception. Oh, the tyrant's gonna show up, I just know it, but... Frick you. Yeah. Let's, we're gonna go to the record room first and foremost. Oh, oh, fuck you, 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 fuck you. What the hell? Space! Get off me, bruh. These fuckers. See what I mean? Bitch and a half when you get stuck in animations. Get, get in We're getting out of here. We're getting out of here. Let's go. 